Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review. And today we're taking a look at from the Transformers Cyberverse line. This is uh, Transformers <clears throat> Cyberverse Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures Battle Call Bumblebee. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a new Bumblebee figure that's part of the Battle Call subline. It does feature lights. Maybe sounds. I don't think it has sounds. Uh, I, I couldn't get any sounds out of it when I was uh, fooling around with it before the review. But I got this figure off of Amazon where it, it and the um, two other Trooper class Battle Call figures are available. There's Trooper and Officer. And um, so you can get all three in one shot, just like I did. So uh, we're starting off in vehicle mode. Uh, I guess you can say this is armored vehicle mode because the weapons and armor that are made out of clear blue plastic can all peg together and be stored on top of the car. The car is your basic uh, Cyberverse Bumblebee car. Uh, not too difficult tra to transform, not too e easy. It basically features a lot of the standard Bumblebee, uh, I should say Cyberverse car tropes underneath. There's Bumblebee, and uh, there's a clear chest because of the lights. We'll get to that when we get into robot mode, which we'll do right now because outside of rolling, there's not much else to the figure. Okay, uh, to get into the transformation, it, like I said, it's basically like every other Cyberverse car. Come in the back, uh, push up on the rear, that'll form the legs, just want to come up and rotate it out um, the legs are sort of uh, hook and latch together so you want to go ahead and undo them if they haven't already undone themselves stand the figure up separate the front of the car and the arms they peg in tabs there and tabs there in the side of the chest bring them down come around the back here and then bring down this whole uh, the front hood section on a double it's on a double hinge and should just fold up nicely along the back there tight joint um, next what you can go ahead and do rotate the arms so that the shoulder the front of the car is facing forward that will be the shoulder go ahead and attach and they will friction into place forward so basically what that means is this is the whole short arm joint and it, it, you have an elbow. And there you have Bumblebee in its robot mode. Um, no feet, no real feet, but we should be used to that. Most of the Bumblebees don't have real feet. There is a little swivel here in the head. Ball joints in the shoulders, ball joints in the elbows, ball joints in the hip deep hinge there at the knee but that's basically because of the transformation so yeah let's talk about the battle call gimmick right here on the top there's a switch we're going to turn it on and as you'll see there's a light pulsating now as i get louder or raise my pitch that pulse should be a little bit more pronounced and then you can start doing things like bumblebee the decepticons are attacking battle up and actually it should have uh, i guess i didn't get like passionate enough it's like bumblebee the decepticons are tr attacking transform and roll out and the battery just died i think it's like after 30 seconds of inact after 30 seconds of inactivity it goes out there we go there's a little flashing bumblebee the decepticons are attacking battle up and so you get that if you reach a certain point it'll um flash but it should be pulsating along with your normal talking bumblebee transform and roll out bumblebee the decepticons are attacking battle up transform and roll out now i thought there would be sound involved with this and there isn't and i did notice that if you rotate the wheels I guess that they're closer to the microphone. Bumblebee, transform! Like, you see how that pulsates and all that? So that's a way to track, uh, activate it. But we'll just let it sit right uh, there for the moment. Let it uh, 
let him do his thing. Um, we'll come in. Basically, there's three. Uh, there's four parts to the armor. There's his sword. There's these two uh, breastplates. Just lift them right out. Uh, I really should say those are shoulder panels because this is the whole chest piece. Um, this will peg in. There's two pegs there that go into two ports on the chest. Uh, let's see if we can get this lined up easily. Oh, there you go. Just peg it in. Get the light back on because it looks kind of cool with the you know if the light is bright enough it will go through. Um, peg the I guess the arm armor, shoulder armor additional chest armor, however you want to look at it, into the chest there, just like so, and then Bumblebee can hold the sword. Doesn't go into the fist all the way, but it goes in far enough. And there you have Bumblebee, all armored up. Bumblebee, the Decepticons are attacking! Armor up! Yeah, I just... Uh, you know, I thought there was going to be sound, but I guess not. Or maybe mine's defective. Oh, wouldn't that be a joy? Um, but yeah, uh, to replace the batteries, just so you know, you have to come around the back here. Uh, this unscrews, and that opens up the battery pack uh, compartment. But yeah, it's a fun figure. Um, I did also get Meteor Fire and Wild Wheel. Um, we'll get to those. When we eventually, I just wanted to get this one out, but as I said at the beginning, uh, I got it from Amazon. Um, do not pay the almost forty to fifty dollar markup to get these figures. They're already ten dollars more than your standard Ultra Class, which I guess I mean it's a little smaller than an Ultra Class figure, but I guess with the armor, it, it's roughly the same size. So I think I'll just turn that off, but. Um, yeah, I mean, people are trying to scalp these, and, you know, they're showing up on Amazon now. I think with the officer class, which are the larger ones, where there's a Prime and a Bumblebee, uh, there's a little more interactivity. Those, I'm 99% sure, have sounds, because I did read the description, and there are, they do talk. So I think they can talk to the troopers, and the troopers can respond, I guess, by blinking lights or whatever. But uh, other than that, as a standalone figure, I think it's kind of cool. Um, yes, we've gotten Bumblebee with armor, Bumblebee with swords before. This really reminds me of the, uh, if you remember the R.I.D. cartoon, 2015 cartoon, where at one point they all had swords. This really kind of reminds me of that. And so there, there is that level of fun and play point to it. Um, but, yeah, I'll give you a little close -up look at the head. So, yeah, that's about it for Bumblebee. Um, if you like this review, uh, do subscribe and hit the like button. Facebook, uh, YouTube algorithms, I forget what platform I'm on sometimes, uh, does help. But above all else, watching the video helps. If you want to help even further, I do have a Patreon. There's a link in the description. And there's a card here at the end of the video. And if you're a new viewer, hey, stick around. Check out a couple more videos. I do a lot of Transformers, but previously I've done some other stuff. And I'll do some other stuff in the future. So maybe there's something else you like. Who knows? Hey! Wow, I'm getting silly. But yeah, it's one of those days. So, for Battle Call Bumblebee. This is your old pal Chuck. And we will see you next time.